Hello, and welcome to episode 13 of Let's Play Civilization VI. We are going to pick up exactly where we left off last episode, um, because I just paused the recording and started it over again. Uh, we're going to hit our next turn. The only way this unit got this close is it went through the, the Brazilian lands. That does not make me very happy. Why is a woman to be treated differently? Woman's suffrage will succeed, despite this miserable guerrilla opposition. Okay. This other UI issue, I think this should be a little bit more pronounced. Not necessarily bigger, but you know, um, maybe f flashing more. Conservation. Uh, we're gonna hold our trade route because I think we're gonna lose two trade routes as when I switch over to democracy, which we will do right now. Uh, before I change that, uh, we have 18% legacy bonus from Merchant Republic because we've been in it a long time, and yeah, this gives us plus two trade routes that we're gonna lose. But it's worth it because when we change over, we're gonna get three envoys now per turn. And we're going to get insane new yield, so we're going to switch to democracy. And we got all these new slots. Uh, and we're going to earn the legacy bonus that we're unlikely to switch out of because we're going to stay in democracy for a long time. Uh, your trade routes, the allies safe raid. Oh, I like this. But I don't have any allies, right? Uh, and say states. I might do this one. I don't have a lot of good, uh... I don't know if this... Does... Does city-states count? I don't know. Um, I don't have a lot of good... Uh, diplomatic policies. It might just be the, the research I was doing that wasn't really geared towards it. 25 plus 100% yield from commercial hub district buildings, 50% appeal. Oh, this will help, I think, plus for housing. Oh, minus 8 gold to all cities. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that. Plus 100% gold. And then I have another wild card. Okay, seaport generate science. What do I want to put here? This might be good. Scroll over. Oh, okay. Merchant, great writer. Let's put two. I know we're trying to get a great writer, so I might as well just put one in there for now. We'll just change it later. Yep, we lost two trade routes.
did I lose Preslov to? Damn it. I hate the Chinese. To err is human. But to really foul things up, you need a computer. I should have built my commercial hub right next to the harbor. Get our another trade route up as soon as that finishes. I do want to build some more military units. Um, okay, we're gonna send this guy to. By uh, travel to New City to China. Mm, let's build a uh, let's build a field. Plan. Okay, I'm not going to build that. I'm going to go to the building industrial zone and then I'm going to rush build the harbor or the lighthouse. We now have slightly more housing, so that should go away. Now let's talk to the Congo. I want to start to end a war with him so I can deal with the Brazilians. They still don't want to uh, make peace. I wonder if it's because we're not damaging them. They're losing units, but you know we're not even attacking them. Uh, which I don't have no plans to attack them. Okay. Well, in any case. Uh, let's put it up here. 
I'm gonna start attacking the resilience. I don't care. Okay, so we have another trade route to send out. Let's check our trade route listing. Okay, we can send this one to New York again. Or no, send this to New York and then have it send it to us. Yeah, no, New York doesn't receive any benefits from this trade route, so we can change city to New York. Okay. Fine. Greece completed the space race. Oh, that's concerning. Okay, now that I figure out how trade routes actually work, I might actually get my cities to grow a little bit better. Great scientist, uh, gain from every artifact in this city. No, I don't really want that. I don't have any artifacts, so we'll pass. have to give them a city for peace? No, thank you. Let's look at their military power. 1062, 968, they're kind of where they are at, 
They're probably just building units now. This earth is a gift, and it is important that we protect it. I recommend we establish a national park. It may even attract tourists. Destroying rainforest for economic gain is like burning a Renaissance painting to cook a meal. Okay, uh... What do we get with uh, Roosevelt? Oh, plus one appeal to alt health and gain a rough rider unique bonus. Okay, we get more appeal. So, <clears throat> let me build a. Uh, I assume that has to be built by a worker. I keep saying worker, but not really a worker. I have to build three sock exchanges for that, okay. Let's do, uh... Nobel Prize, Nuclear Asthma. Mm, no Okay, so we promised the Brazilians that we weren't attacking, so I'm actually going to pull back. And I don't plan on attacking now, I changed my mind. I'm just going to pull back my units, hopefully that doesn't give me a penalty.
<clears throat> we now have the ability to build a spaceport. If we further our research, we may be able to unlock the mysteries of the stars. When you launch a rocket, you're not really flying that rocket. You're just sort of hanging on. How do I build a national park? Is it a production thing? Researching can be used to test. Okay, okay. Let's purchase with faith by a naturalist. Sewer. Fifty one piece now. Let's do game resources first. Take him. Okay. Where can I? I want to maybe do it here because that's going to increase the appeal of everything. But I'm going to lose that to thing. But I guess I could replace it here. See if we can do it next turn. Uh, let's send him to Rio. Transfer to Rio. Why is it not going?
Okay, can we designate this as a national park? We cannot. Probably because there's a lumber mill on it. Can we designate this as a national park? Let's check our appeal. They have good appeal. Build another uh, infantry unit. Oh, I cannot. Peel is breathtaking here, so I mm, let's see here again. National parks. Oh, must be natural wonders, mountains, or a tile with an appeal of charming or better. All four of the tiles must be owned by the same city. Oh, it's more than one tile. Scissor and Preslav again. The release of atom power has changed everything except our way of thinking. 
The solution to this problem lies in the heart of mankind. If only I had known, I should have become a watchmaker. Nuclear fusion. Okay, so we'll save that for later. We'll finish class struggle first. Uh, so how we can change here, change policies. Let's do this to speed up our unit production. Uh, okay. Let's confirm policies. Seriously, catapults. Okay, I don't know what to do with this nationalist. I'll just move him around until I can make it a national park somewhere. Or national park somewhere. Get a new trade route from what? Oh, the harbor here, okay. I'll save that for later. Now uh, let's move on to stock exchange. I'll buy the lighthouse with my Perfect. We'll have one more trade route we can use. Great person, great scientist, plus mm, I'll pass. I guess this national under here could be turned into a national park, but you know, I don't actually own that city. these horsemen back here. Oh, I can upgrade them now. They, they uh, no longer not like us as much. I'm not being an announce anymore. Okay, pulling these back. Oh, I need oil, uh, which I don't have. Who has oil? It's Chinese have. Hmm. 
the resource uh, um, allocation in this game might be a little bit worrying. Uh, you could be humming along just fine until you find that you don't have the resource that you really need. All, it's more like Civ 3 than in Civ 5 where they kind of even things out a little bit more. Um, it's not too hard to find it and you could always find resources from city-states but now that city-states are harder to control or to retain um, it becomes a bit of a challenge. Uh, that can't be right. I have a neighborhood here. Why are they needing uh, housing? I have enough housing. I have not enough amenities. Okay, uh, we need an entertainment complex. Break the problem. Oh, I didn't move it. Oh, I guess technically I didn't. But that's the UI isn't very clear there. It should actually tell you that if you say you're just passing through, that it's essentially a promise. Bye. RNG is not being kind to me. by a worker here. Thus, the sculpture serves to give people one thought. Everything is in God's hands. A 
satellite has no conscience. Spaceport? Hmm, do I want to do that? Okay, I think I can upgrade my units as well. To not sleep that slot right there. Uh... Okay, they want a trade route. Eureka for robotics. Okay. Uh, can do those. Um, what do they still want here? Inspiration for Cold War, professional sports. What do I need for Cold War again? Research nuclear fission tech, okay. Oh, they stuck. Gotta go talk to them again. Oh, I can do that. Okay, because we're more than two, two, uh, two eras ahead of them. And that's not a bad... Thing. So let's see here. Start upgrading my unit to mechanize infantry. Their capital is right there, and I can get their oil as well. This is very good. Very good. Okay. Let's keep doing that. Keep doing what we're doing. Haven't decided yet if I want to uh, do the space race. That's a big investment, and I, I, I like that because in Civ Five you can kind of waffle uh, your way to to victory, and you can just uh, spam the uh, spaceship parts. And with this one, because production is such a huge deal, you, the amount of turns I have to invest for that is huge. And I, I haven't decided if I want to go that route yet. And I probably need to get like a nuclear power plant up anyways for my industrial district to get enough production going. Uh, how are we on score? We are leading everyone. Okay, I think we're, we've run overtime on this one as, uh, episode again, so I'll end it here and we'll pick up next time. Thank you very much for watching.